I reviewed a mechanical keyboard from Vava not too long ago, and it was one of my favorite keyboards to date in terms of lighting and reliability. I bet you could imagine my excitement when they said they'd also like to send me a mouse for a review. So, grab some Java, and let's talk Vava. I don't like coffee. The Vava Chroma Gaming Mouse comes in at about 155 grams and packs some pretty standard stuff. Rubber side grips for easy gripping, tactile clicks for easy clicking, and a 2.1 meter braided cable with a velcro strap for easy cabling. It's also got three aluminum alloy plates around the bottom, which makes this the most metal mouse to ever step foot onto my mouse pad, with the exception of maybe the Corsair Glaive with its aluminum accent. The Vava Chroma sports eight programmable buttons, left, right, and middle click, a triple click, DPI up, DPI down, and forward and backward thumb buttons by default, rated for about 10 million clicks. Said buttons can be assigned functions via Vava's Vava Chroma software. I think I've heard that name somewhere before. Within that software, you get up to five profiles and the ability to link them with specific programs. Six customizable DPI steps from 500 to 4000, adjust scroll speed, double click speed, and pulling rate from 125 to 1000 hertz, record, edit, and assign macros, obviously, and play with the 16.8 million colors of RGB, obviously. Just look at those curves. You get access to color flow, steady, breathing, Tail, Neon, Colorful Steady, Flicker, Flow, Colorful Wave, Unidirectional Tail, Response, and Off for you wet sandwiches. Colors, Effect Speed, and Direction can be customized to the extent you'd expect, for the most part. More on that later. Using the mouse was a mostly pleasant experience. I didn't feel any issues with skipping or inaccuracy beyond my own incompetence, and the 4000 DPI ceiling wasn't an issue for me since I'm rarely above 2000 anyway. The rubber side grips were comfortable with just the right amount of grippiness, but the mouse's shape was somewhat hard for me to adapt to. Being primarily a palm gripper, I enjoy a full hand, particularly the palm, as the name would imply. My ex can confirm that for you, if you really need it. The Vava mouse has a little less emphasis in the trunk region and a little more towards your knuckles, so the mouse's body style isn't exactly my favorite. As a claw gripper, I don't see this being an issue, and I found the thumb buttons to be easily accessible in either case. Subjectively speaking, that was the only problem that really stood out to me. Objectively, there are a few more issues. The RGB lighting is nice and bright, but it is accompanied by some fairly aggressive hot spotting. The scroll wheel looks fine, but the light edges and the logo are pretty obvious. Most of the colors are accurate enough for me to not complain, except for white. There's a bit of yellow and orange speckled along the hotspots, making them all the more apparent, and for some reason, the first LED pokes in at a kind of light green. While on the topic of lighting, my favorite effect out of the lot is flow, and you can't lock it to a single color. It automatically changes and makes my tears flow. The smallest issue I've got, and this is just me being really nitpicky, you can see the sensor's red light through the openings between the thumb buttons. You probably won't notice it, but I did, so I'm sure somebody else will eventually. The last issue I've got with this mouse is in regards to its metal feet, and metal they are, because they really scream. On a cloth mouse pad, you won't be likely to notice, but I'm using Corsair's MM800 hard pad, and gliding the mouse makes a pretty apparent scraping noise. And speaking of screaming, every time you change your DPI, Windows will shriek at you to let you know. Some people may prefer the visual notification, but it's not for me. Despite this though, I give this mouse high marks. I criticize Vava's keyboard for being 80 US dollars while also lacking software control. I personally wouldn't pay that much for a keyboard if I can't fine tune it through an application, but this mouse. This mouse comes in at 30 US dollars on Amazon, making it a Vav awesome deal in my opinion. That doesn't flow very well. Vav awesome deal in my eyes. <laughs> I've seen mouse pads more expensive than this. So if you're looking for a decent RGB mouse for a good price and you don't plan on setting it to white, va va moose and go pick it up. And so that's all I have to say about that. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share, leave me questions if you've got them. Thanks for watching. My name is Steven and I am a little dim. Bye bye. I'm recording twice this time because I'm vlogging at the same time, which is weird because that's not my best side. This isn't my best. I don't have a best side, really. 
don't think I have any good sights. I reviewed a mechanical keyboard from Vava not too long ago. Oh, <laughs> long ago. The Vava Chroma sports eight programmable, pro <laughs> programmable. We get up to five profiles and the ability to link them through certain program with certain damn it, and the ability to link them with and the ability to link them within certain pro with certain guy. The rubber side grips were comfortable with just the right amount of. Yeah, I think my mouth did a funny click thing. The rubber side grips were comfortable with just the. Oh, I just did the click thing again. Subjectively speaking, that was the only issue. That oh hold on, that's the issue twice. Oh, I did. All right, problem. Let's go to problem. <laughs> Did I proofread this? Objectively, there are a few more issues. The RGB, did I try to reuse issues three times? I did. You can see the sensor's red light through the openings between the thumb buttons. It's such a petty thing to complain about, but it's hard to not notice now that I've noticed it. The last issue I've got with this is in, uh, on a cloth mouse pad, you won't bleep, 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 be, and metal they are, because they really scream. I really wanted to scream that, but I think there's still somebody in the house and I don't want to get them to call an exorcist or something. I personally wouldn't pay that much for a keyboard if I can't find it to, if I, if I didn't tune it, yeah. Va vamoose, and, is that how that's, va vamoose, va vamoose, right? So if you're looking for a decent RGB mouse pad, mouse pad, mouse pad, not mouse pad, mouse, 